Hey guys, Sarah McCarthy here from McCarthy Math Academy, and today I would like to share with you a strategy that I've used in the classroom called Trust Tap Math. It's a really easy way to transform a regular old math problem into a rockin' good time. You know what? Don't use the phrase rockin' good time. I just felt kinda like I, I was a little dated there, so mm, trust me on that one, okay? Anyway, so in 2018, I went with a team up to the Ron Clark Academy. And while I was there, Ron Clark used a strategy that I really liked. And I decided, you know what? I'm going to bring this strategy back. I'm going to adapt it to meet my style. And I'm going to use it to give my lessons a facelift. So that's pretty much what I did. And now I call it Trust Tap Math. Here's the materials that you're going to need. Number one, you are going to need a regular old math problem. Number two, you are going to need music, but not just any kind of music, music that makes you smile, music that makes you want to tap your toes. And third of all, you are going to need your hand. That's right, this is the official trust tapper that you are going to need. Now you're gonna get your kids excited, okay? And you are going to tell them, I will present a math problem. And of course, right there, <laughs> you're gonna have them because it's not every day that you present a math problem to them, right? Oh wait, you do every day. Okay, I'm going to present a math problem and you are going to solve it on your own. I'm gonna circulate around the room. If you have it correct, with the correct proof on your paper to back up that I know that you know what you're doing with this problem, I will grant you the official trust tap. And this trust tap means that I trust you to become a teacher. That's right, you are now one of me. So you will stand up, you will circulate around the room. And I forgot to mention that as you are circulating and your teachers, your mini teachers are circulating around the room, you're gonna have some jams going and you're gonna have your teachers walking around. And you know, you might have some students who don't really know how to get started or are stuck on a certain part. And that's where your teachers come in because when you have trusted them with the trust Tap. That means that they can also teach it. And teachers, you tell them, do teachers give you answers or do teachers guide you to the correct answer? And they're gonna say they guide you to the correct answer. So no givey givey of answers. You are there to guide them to the correct answer. The goal is to get everybody up by the end of the song, by the end of the timer, by whatever. Now let me tell you, my students and I, we love this strategy and here is why. Number one, we had music. Anytime that you add an element of music to something, it makes it, it turns it from a monotonous lesson into like a mini math dance party. It's so fun. Now, of course, they have to stay focused while they're working, but this is a great way for anybody to get their wiggles out and just kind of get, I mean, even me, if I, I can't sit forever. I got to get the wiggles out, you know? The second reason why I love this was because it allowed a great opportunity for productive struggle everybody had to solve this problem and everybody had to stick with it until they understood how to do it. Reason number three why I love this strategy so much is the element of collaboration. For real, after I was able to give the first initial trust taps, I as a teacher got to step back, just watch the lesson unfold with them. They were the ones doing the work. They were the ones doing the thinking. The student teachers loved being able to help while the students who needed some support got it. They were able to ask questions. They were able to reach a level of understanding that they may not have gotten before. And they were able to celebrate the fact that they understood it now too. The last reason why I love this strategy so much is that it took zero, zero prep time. I'm serious. After the first initial explanation of how to do the trust tap math and creating my playlist, it didn't take any time at all. All I had to do was say, hit it and the students knew that it was time for Trust Tap Math. Are you ready to add this to your rock star teacher repertoire? If so, I want you to comment below with your favorite rock star musical instrument emoji that you have. And also, if you have a way to adapt this to meet the needs of another subject area or a, you know, you're just thinking of something else that you could do with this strategy, please put it in the comments below because we are all here to learn from each other. Bye everybody.